Hello everyone. I've been talking about synchronicities and how a synchronicity is basically life speaking to you. And I've been getting more questions about the overall idea of asking your guides or the energy that walks with you for assistance. A lot of people are feeling a little bit uneasy right now and they're asking for guidance and they feel a little disconnected from the energy that walks with all of us. So the idea that only some of us can communicate with the energy around us is it's an illusion. You can too. Everyone can. So there are specific techniques to ask for guidance, ask for help from your angels, from source, whatever you want to call it. There's just this beautiful energy that walks with you and that is always available to help when you need it. So how do you ask for that assistance and how do you hear it or see it or feel it? I use um, three specific ways. One is daily meditation. I can't really get around that. I know I keep repeating these things about having a quiet mind, but it's, it's fundamental. The more quiet your mind is, the easier you can hear the messages from your guides. It's as simple as that. So daily meditation is a practice that I use daily <laughs> and I can't get around that. So I meditate once a day, usually twice a day, but at least once a day. And in meditation, I'm just sitting quietly and I'm connecting to peace and love and stillness inside. And I'm just doing a regular mindfulness meditation. And when I arrive at a place of stillness, the answers to questions that I may have thrown out there start coming in. So meditation, just as a practice, is a wonderful way for your guides to get in contact with you because it's a time when your mind is at its most still point. And when you feel that peace and quiet inside, it's easier for the energy to communicate with you. So you may receive answers directly to your questions in a meditation session that happens to me a lot. The other way is to be out in nature like I am right now. So be out in nature, sit under a tree, listen to the birds, be on a beach. Just take yourself out of the regular controlled environment that we have and take yourself out into the wilderness. Be close to nature and just sit in silence with your eyes closed or just contemplate nature. It'll slowly bring your thought processes down and it does the same thing as meditation. It allows your guides to speak to you directly so that you begin to get these messages more readily. So these two techniques, daily meditation and being out in nature, bring the stillness and peace to you and allows that connection with the energy that walks with you to become more readily available. The third way, and I use this sometimes, and this may be really helpful for you. If you say to me, you know, meditation isn't working, being out in nature, my mind is just really active right now and I can't seem to quiet it down. That happens sometimes. It happens to me too. And I'll give you an example of, of what happened to me recently just so you can see how this works. But I use my 3D environment as a mode of communication with my guides if my mind is really active to a point where regular communication becomes a little bit more fuzzy. So sometimes if my mind is active, I will say to my guides, my mind is really active, please present me a message in my physical world where I can pick it up with my traditional five senses and don't have to rely on my sixth sense. <laughs> and so this is what it looks like. So one day recently I was sitting in meditation, my mind was really active, I was going through a little bit of an agitated period in my life. And I was in meditation and I just kept feeling the word surrender. But I wasn't sure what they meant. I knew they were trying to say something, something to me. The energy was trying to say something to me. But I wasn't sure what because all I kept hearing or sensing was the repeating of the word surrender. So I talked out loud. I actually asked them. I said, I think I'm living a surrendered life, but if I'm not living a surrendered life in the way that you would like me to live a surrendered life, please show me in my physical world what surrender means. I finished my meditation. I didn't receive any particular answers at that moment. I just went on with my day, trying to stay in peace and centered as best I could. And the next day I was on my computer just perusing <laughs> 
and a picture caught my attention right away. And it was a picture, it caught my attention because it resembled the book cover of a book that I love called The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. It's one of my favorite books. So that picture caught my attention right away because it reminded me of that book. I clicked on the picture and it, it opened up to a page. It was a book review. It was a book review to Michael Singer's new book called the surrender experiment <laughs> and I immediately started laughing so I purchased the book I read the book in two days and when I finished reading that book I understood completely what the meaning of the word surrender really meant so you see my guides answered me in my physical reality they answered a question that I had and so I didn't have to rely on my sixth sense because something was presented to me in my physical world and that's a mode of communication also. So when in doubt, when you feel like your mind is really active in meditation or nothing is working to bring it down and you can't hear the communication with your guides, ask them specifically to materialize something in your physical environment that answers your questions. But when it all comes down to it, do anything that you possibly can to live centered and at peace with a quiet mind. Because when you do that, the answers to your questions, they come immediately, all the time. And it's a much easier way to live. But I know, I know, I know. We all go through chaos. We all go through times when our minds are really, really active. So this last technique I, I shared with you is also very helpful in my own life. So there you, there you go communicating with your guides and the beautiful energy that surrounds you. You are never alone. You're always helped and you are so loved all the time. <laughs> Have a great week, everyone. <laughs>